This is my common room miniature ghost kit and I'm going to show you how I painted and assembled it. There are seven minis for this kit and to start out I spray them down with a flat white primer. Um, it makes it a lot easier for when it comes to painting the ghost. For these first two pieces I used jet black, white, king's gold, Tuscan red, flamenco red, and territorial beige apple barrel brand paints. I lightly hot glued my minis to a platform to make handling and painting them a lot easier. Even though I did use a white primer, I still like to paint the ghost with a white acrylic paint to make sure it's all an even coat of white and it makes it more seamless to do touch-ups when they are needed. For this scarf, I use flamenco red and king's gold and just alternate between the two all the way around. For the cup, I use territorial beige and for the eyes, I use jet black. For both of the couches, I do a couple of coats of the Tuscan Red. I'm trying very hard not to hit the ghost, but if you do, you can touch it up with some white. For these four pieces, I use Territorial Beige, Chestnut, Melted Chocolate, and Jet Black. I glued all of these pieces to a platform and I gave them all a few coats of the Melted Chocolate. After that, I used the Jet Black and just a little bit of water to mix them together to make a black wash for all of the pieces. I add the black wash to each of the pieces, trying to spread it around evenly to get in all of the grooves, and then after that, I put it under a fan to let it dry. After everything is dry, I get a dab of Territorial Beige and a soft brush. I dab it in the paint and I try to get as much of it off as possible so that I can hit the high spots with some dry brushing. I go over each of the pieces with some dry brushing, trying to get all of the high spots to make some highlights. I use Territorial Beige for the cup and I use Chestnut for the wand. I use bright red and bright yellow for the fire, bright red for the outer layer, and bright yellow for the inner layer. For the last bit of painting, I use jet black, territorial beige, pewter gray, granite gray, and elephant gray. For the stone fireplace, I used pewter gray. For the stone rim around the fireplace, I use elephant gray. I do another black wash all around the piece and I take it off of the base so that I can get inside of the fireplace really well. I use granite gray for dry brushing around the rim of the fireplace and the stone wall of the fireplace. For the pots, I do a couple of coats of territorial beige and then I finish them off with a little bit of black wash. After I'm done with painting, I spray all of the minis with a satin clear finish. After they are completely dry, I glue them to the wooden base. You can use a hot glue gun or some Mod Podge. The hot glue gun would make them stick faster and dry faster. Um, the Mod Podge would dry a little slower, but it would make it a lot more seamless. This time I use the hot glue gun, so I put a dab of glue in the fireplace and I pick up the fire and carefully stick it onto the glue. Next, I put in a dab of hot glue in each of the pots and I stick in the plants. This part is completely optional, it is not necessary, but I did add a little bit of UV resin to both of the cups for a butterbeer look. I added the UV resin to a silicone cup and then I just put in a tad bit of gold mica powder and mixed it in. I use a toothpick to apply the UV resin to the cups. I just put a very tiny bit on the end of the toothpick and kind of just poke it in until I see that both of the cups are full. After that, I put them under a UV light to let them cure, or you can put them outside in the sun and that will let them cure as well. The very last part is to glue them down, so I just take the hot glue gun and put it on each piece and glue them down on the wooden base. I don't actually glue them down in the video because this is actually my second set of painting these minis and I'm going to be using this one for a different project, but you just glue them down.
down to the base with either hot glue or Mod Podge and it's all done. This is the full finished piece on how I did it. You can paint it however you want to, you can assemble it how you want to, you can paint it in different house colors. I will be putting more details in the description and if you have any questions just please reach out and I will be happy to help.